right, so it's a brisk January morning. In fact, January 2nd. I've got Jackson at the wheel. We still don't have our convertible top on yet. It's about 47 degrees. <laughs> but we're headed to Cars and Coffee. So uh, it's be a nice little drive. We're gonna try to document it for you today. I hadn't posted a video in a while, but for all you C3 builders that are building out there, this is why you do it, to actually get to drive your car. I spent about 10 years looking at mine. It almost feels surreal to actually drive it. Well, I guess I'm not actually driving it. <laughs> it's Jackson that's driving it. But here we go. Our little town here. Boy, your coffee is just right up the road. She's uh, she's running pretty, pretty rough in cold weather. And I'm wondering if you guys have any experience with running your Corvette in pretty, ex well, I'd say extreme. It's 40 degrees. I mean, we haven't even come close to 200 degrees on the temp gauge, but she doesn't seem to like it. Uh, oil pressure is looking real good. bit about my son Jackson over here he's 15 years old has his learner's permit so we're legal he learned to drive my truck and mom's minivan and he pretty much built this Corvette I was the parts buyer and Jackson was the wrench turner we started in um, July of 2019, and by November of 20, we were done. It's been a great experience. To our coffee shop cars and coffee a little sparse today and we might might be a little cold but we're gonna go in and get some a cup of joe here at warrior coffee and it still was a nice ride all right we're at a local coffee shop warrior coffee it's a uh, cars and coffee um, 
We must be a little late or it's too cold uh, because didn't see very many cars out today. But didn't uh, keep us down. Uh, love getting the Corvette out, get some coffee on a Saturday morning, and uh, we'll be headed home here real soon. So this is my favorite part of the vet. Coming out and seeing her park there. She's so pretty. We ever actually locked it? I've never locked the door. <laughs> this is the nerve wracking part. Well, does she start? You know how to start her though. back home. Actually got a little sun out today. Kind of cool. Ah, the pop of the side pipes from that cam overlap. One of Jackson's favorite sounds. Got an idle at about eh, nine 70. We are perfect volts, perfect oil pressure. Perfect day for a drive. Stafford County, Virginia, we're on Courthouse Road and right up here on the right is the restoration shop run by Ralph Pachinko. He is our, uh, he runs a machine shop. He's where we took our engine to get cleaned and bored over at 40, 40 thousands over. Good guy. Machine shop is hard to find. A good machine shop is hard to find. You have to find one you trust. One that will do exactly what you want and not anything more. But I think I found that with Ralph. I almost stalled it. You almost stalled it. Coming up, up up to the house, been a nice ride in the Corvette. Jackson's a pretty good driver, chauffeuring me around. We 
past a buddy of mine that I know and it's just I just loved the having people recognize you in your car the waves you know, it's, it's hard not to smile when you see a Corvette rolling by and I guess what that, that's what I like about it the most it's, it's not just a car it's a it's an idea it's a symbol and um, yeah, just so much fun well I hope you enjoyed our ride down to get coffee on a Saturday morning and um, if you like the channel please subscribe I haven't been posting much because we haven't been doing much uh, work on the Corvette but I don't know we still uh, we're gonna get the, the top installed in a couple days and we still have to put the windshield wipers on so there'll be a few more videos coming up here real soon all right, Law Dog Corvette, have a nice day.